We were asked by the town of Monette to uh, basically build them a website because they didn't have a database for the information that both the local citizens of the town needed and outsiders looking in wondering what Monette's all about. We learned how to code with HTML and uh, we use that on the GoDaddy website builder and not only have we learned to create a fully functional website with a sleek design, we've learned, especially me, to not be afraid when talking to an adult that they're only there to help you and you're there to help them. That's what East is all about, is helping each other and finding a purpose. When this is posted and it's available for people to read that and see that and see what we have to offer, it may help draw more people to Monette and make us grow just a little bit more. So this year uh, I was totally, totally impressed when the governor of the state of Arkansas came in the early part of the year and uh, recognized uh, some teams that had, had different projects going and to find out that one of the projects that was being conducted by a team of four individuals was uh, something that was also going on in a local college that was costing a lot more money to put the project together but the results was the same and uh, that's impressive. Uh, so I'm very happy to be part of that and to see part of that and now we're going to benefit from it from the city of Monette and I'm very very happy for that. After I talked to my dad he told me that it would help if farmers in the community had an app to deliver peanut receipts to the company that the peanuts were going to. Right now the peanut receipts get lost in the delivery trucks. So what I have done so far is I have developed the first screen with the login button and the sign up, sign in button. And whenever you press those it will lead you to a login screen or to sign up for the app. I have learned the basics on Xcode. I've learned to not give up in things that I want to do and want to accomplish. We wanted to find a way to help a local in our area who is missing fingers on one of his hands and we figured we could do it using 3D printing so we decided to make a 3D printed finger using both PLA and flexible TPU filament. I have learned that patience is very key in this project especially with having to wait for parts to come in. I also learned a lot about 3D printing, how to level the printer, how to use flexible filaments and other things like that. Trial and error is key with 3D printing. So with this project uh, we were, had a lot of setbacks and a lot of things that prevented us from moving forward with the project and we had to learn to just keep going and keep trying and not give up. This project will help Mr. Snowden by giving him a little more support for his hand, allowing him to have more function with it. I got the idea for my project last year at East Conference whenever I attended a breakout session by George West and uh, I had been talking to Miss Shannon Sullivan from the Smithsonian and just talking to the both of them made me want to tell a story about women in my hometown and a uh, part of the history of um, you know women getting the right to vote. So my project is using Esri story maps. I interviewed a lady named Miss June Kennett who's just a local citizen. She lives in Leechville. When this project's complete, it'll be featured in our local museum. In college, I'm hoping to major in some kind of communications uh, major. And um, this project has helped me to build some skills that will be useful, like interviewing and uh, time management and connecting with community members and collaborating with professionals and just stuff like that. The list goes on. We have created two Arduino sensors. One of the sensors is a carbon monoxide sensor for our egg shop. We 3D printed a box for it. It is installed and in use. We are currently working on making a Bluetooth Arduino humidity sensor that could potentially sense vaping. We hope to get them installed in our high school bathrooms. But to be a Google local guide, um, you're basically like businesses who aren't really around, like people don't really know about. You want your community to grow, so you're adding photos. You're leaving reviews of the businesses so we can like maybe they don't have that many people coming in and maybe like all this we hope that it will really help them and so their business will start growing more or even more than it already is. So being from a small town we just got a new bypass there's like 1800 people in our town um, not 
many people know that there is restaurants or gas stations around here so if you're new with our project you're allowed to see that we have businesses who can who you can come to i've learned because when i first started i was really shy i've always been that kind of person but going to different partners and having to talk to them it's kind of helped me grow as a person and learn to communicate with people that i'm not familiar with uh our project is 3d printing a prosthetic can for Miss Petty Claus because she's needing it for her left hand. We created a hand for her three years ago, but it melted in a hot car, so she needed a new one. Some things that I learned while doing this project is um, learning how to get all the necessary par parts onto the 3D printer and transferring their, them to the computer and make sure all that's working fine. Personally, me with 3D printing, uh, this was kind of a new experience because I've never learned how to use the MakerBot, and learning how to use that was really great. Because in my past years, I have 3D printed, but on a smaller 3D prints. But since this was a bigger project, then I learned new skills. Like we have been working with the Buffalo Island Museum Committee, creating interactive exhibits. At first, we used the HP Reveal app to create scannable cards to connect stories from local citizens to artifacts in the museum. This year, we have focused on home life and music on Buffalo Island. We've had some struggles. Uh, January 10th, uh, we found out that HP Reveal is no longer using the app. We have decided to use YouTube and QR codes Anyone with an iPhone, Android, any device can use QR code to scan our videos. I have learned many skills from working with this project. With the museum committee, I've became more confident myself to talk to not only my classmates, but other individuals, adults. I'm Diana Sanders and I'm the project coordinator at the Monette Buffalo Island uh, Museum. I just want to say how much we treasure the involvement of the EAST program in our community. These young people have provided things that make it interesting for all ages at our museum and then made even more people interested bring their families. So we want to thank the EAST program for all the projects and they're too numerous for me to even number but we are so thankful for all of their interest in our museum. This year I was selected to be on East Ambassador Leadership Team and three years ago today I would have not seen myself in this position whatsoever. I would have found it hard to put myself out there and to work with students that I had never met before. Well, it all depends on how much I worked on my projects. I wanted to learn everything I can about East. Last year I could not exactly get it since I was still just a beginner for this class and I really didn't understand the concept behind it. What I've learned about 3D printing was how to never give up on a certain project. We are creating welcome folders for students who enroll in our high school without being able to speak any English. We have collaborated with our school counselor to determine what should go in the folders. We have bilingual buddy cards introducing bilingual students and lots of other helpful information. I've been working with the Leach for Water Department to get their water lines mapped in GIS last year after East Conference another student group mapped the sewer lines, lift stations, covered manholes, and forest mains. I have combined all of this information to include one map for the utility workers to use for better work efficiency. Other notable projects within our East program this year include a week-long technology day camp for children at Arkansas Northeastern Community College that introduced them to virtual reality. We also took our 360 video field trip experiences to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. We had so much fun with the patients and have plans to return this spring. We've also started a geocaching project that encourages visitors to our small town. Our caches include 3D printed items and are hidden all throughout Buffalo Island. We have several East groups working with Dr. Ben Runkle from the University of Arkansas on ag-related projects. Our group has continued the CL2 soil sensor project that studies the health of the soil for farmers. Dr. Runkle is also helping us implement field mapping with drones to help local farmers use ag intelligence to enhance management decisions year-round. Another group is partnering with Dr. Runkle to study the pros and cons of burning fields. I work with the Buffalo Island Central East class to provide the grant program to my residents. 
We appreciate them coming. We think that it is very important for these two generations to work together, and we are able to do that through this program. East has had a great impact on our community at Buffalo Island. Uh, some of the projects in East are really high-tech and really sophisticated. Those type projects may not have as much community impact as some of the other things. Each year we do an annual uh, Veterans Day program that brings in people from all the surrounding communities, even some from out of state, and it's a, it's a major deal that everyone enjoys, and I hope we continue to do that. Uh, another that meets part of our community service that I might go unnoticed is a grand friend project at our local nursing home, Monette Manor Nursing Home. That meets a need that probably most folks don't hear about in our community, but it's something that is great for our kids to be involved in, and it's a really big help to, them, to those patients out there. I think they have a great impact on our community. BIC East inspires change. We are transforming our school and our Buffalo Island community one project at a time. Our students are empowered with technology and challenged to use critical thinking and creative problem solving to make improvements in the world around us. Through East, we are becoming lifelong learners and engaged citizens. We love East!